Hey kitchen friends, do you like spaghetti and meatballs? I do, I have to tell you, spaghetti is just about my favorite food. I could eat it for dinner probably almost every night. But it's not necessarily the healthiest thing to eat every night for dinner. It's what some people would call a sometime food, which means it's not bad for you to have sometimes. It's just not something you probably want to eat every single day or maybe even every other day. So what's good to do with your favorite foods that aren't the healthiest is to see if you can make them in a way that makes them a little healthier for you. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make a healthier meatball for spaghetti and meatballs so that you can maybe enjoy spaghetti and meatballs a little more often while still eating healthy. So let me show you. These are the ingredients to make our quick and healthy turkey meatballs. We've got a pound of ground turkey, olive oil, Italian-style breadcrumbs, grated Parmesan cheese, and plain Greek yogurt. You can substitute this with one egg. These meatballs are not fried in a pan, so we're going to do an extra step of taking our baking sheet and putting about two tablespoons of that olive oil on here. And we're going to spread it around. And then I'm actually gonna place this in the oven to get hot while the oven preheats to 350. So now it's time to put the meatballs together. I have one pound of ground turkey in a mixing bowl. And I am going to put in a quarter cup of those Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, then quarter cup of Greek yogurt, which replaces an egg. So you can substitute our substitute <laughs> with one egg instead of the yogurt. Now, this is kind of the fun part, but you need really clean hands because the best way to make meatballs is to mix all of this together with your fingers. So here we go. <laughs> Gonna be kinda cold and gross at first. But the longer you work it, it will eventually come together. All right, now before you proceed any further, you're gonna wanna wash your hands really, really good with warm water and soap for a while. <laughs> now, to make the meatballs, if you have a scoop, like a cookie scoop about this size, that is really helpful for making your meatballs about the same size. If you don't, that's okay, you can just eyeball it. What you're gonna do Get a portion of the mixture, put it in your clean hands, and then just very gently roll it, and we're going to set it aside on a plate. You just keep doing that. Pull out another portion. The scoop makes it really easy because it's already pretty round. <laughs> But you can just roll it around like this in your hands to get about a golf ball sized meatball. Just keep going until all the meat is gone. All right, you're going to 
gonna need an adult to remove that hot pan that's been oiled from the oven. And now we are going to place our meatballs about an inch apart. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's sizzling. See, meatballs are usually fried in a skillet. And so you kind of want a little bit of a nice brown, crispy outside going on. And that's what the oil on this hot pan is helping us get. All right, these are gonna bake in the oven for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to do our best to flip them over and cook them for about five more minutes. All right, I've pulled the meatballs from the oven. They are not done cooking, but we're gonna turn them over to let them get a little bit of color on the other side. See that nice brown color? That means it's gonna be flavorful. All right, when I get these all flipped, they're gonna go back in the oven for about five minutes. Then they'll be all finished, ready to cool off and eat. And the meatballs are finished. They are sizzling hot. They've got good color. Now, there are lots of ways you can enjoy these healthy meatballs. Um, you can put them on a sandwich, you can dip them in sauce and eat them by themselves. But of course, I put spaghetti in a bowl and put some tomato sauce on top, red tomato sauce, and then my meatballs and then covered it with cheese, Parmesan cheese. So, so yummy. Our story today is On Top of Spaghetti, written and illustrated by Paul Brett Johnson, with lyrics by Tom Glazer. There's lyrics because there is a song in this story, in case you haven't ever heard it. And this is published by Scholastic. All right. Howdy, folks. Welcome to Yodler Jones Spaghetti Emporium and Musical. You're just in time to hear about the big sneeze. It all started when they put in that fried fritter fricassee parlor next door. I couldn't haul in a customer with a line and pole. Yodler, I said to myself, it's time to upgrade the menu. So I set out to invent the most delicious meatball this side of Sicily. And I likely did, but the blasted thing didn't stick around long enough for a taste test. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball. When somebody sneezed, it rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball rolled out the door. For all I knew, my entire future depended on that runaway meatball. I had to have a bite. was hot on the trail when it flew to the Piggly Wiggly and hit dear Miss Jenkins smack dab in the squash. Pardon my meatball, I said. Then I told my tale. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. That wasn't the end of it, though. Not by a monkey's tail. My meatball went a-whooshing and a-whizzing, and this time it landed in front of the sheriff's office. 
Pardon my meatball, I said. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Next thing I knew, my meatball zinged all the way to the ballpark. By the time I caught up, some tadwhacker was just about to chomp down. Pardon my meatball, I said. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody squeezed. That meatball shot to the outfield, boomeranged, whizzed by shortstop, flew over the pitcher's mound and headed directly for home plate. Bad Bubba Jr. was up at bat. Talk about your home run! My meatball zoomed through the wild blue yonder. And where do you reckon it landed? It rolled in the garden and under a bush. And then my poor meatball was nothing but mush. Yodler, I said, you might as well put up a first sale sign. Then lo and behold, a miracle occurred. The mush was as tasty as tasty could be, and by the next day grew into a tree. The tree was all covered with beautiful moss. It grew great big meatballs and tomato sauce. Know what? Those were the most delicious meatballs this side of Sicily. Nowadays, plenty of folks stop in for a belly full. I always tell them though, if you eat spaghetti all covered with cheese, hold on to your meatball and don't ever Sneeze. <laughs> the end. <laughs> and at the back of this book, it has the lyrics to the song as well as the music. And on the back, there is a recipe for tomato sauce and for meatballs, which we made today. So, which, not the same recipe. I made that recipe. This uh, recipe uses ground beef. So there's that, and of course, I have to show you a nonfiction book before I finish. This is called Noodle Mania by uh, Melissa Barlow, and it has the cutest, funnest pasta recipes, and there are really way too many to show you. Here's an example of what I mean. This is called, you've had pasta salad, or maybe macaroni salad. So this is called seahorse salad, but it's like pasta salad. This is pasta. Can you believe that? The red and green, that's pasta. They call it seahorse salad because the pasta looks kind of like little seahorses. So this is a cookbook full of pasta recipes. I recommend checking it out. You might find something yummy in there. You might find something yummy that you can change a little bit to make healthy or extra healthy. All right, that's all the time I have for today. I'll see you next time.